Shortly after that, Dr. Warren Sherman, Director of uh, ther um, Cardiovascular Stem Cell Research at the uh, Columbia University, did the first human patient. He's been on the George Norwich Rule with, with me. He's the first patient, he was 34 years old, he had four heart attacks and 11 stents. And he was a no option heart failure patient. I talked to him at Christmas time, because I haven't talked to him in several years. And I want to make sure when I go on and talk about Jose, he's still alive. Yeah. <laughs> so he said, he's doing great. He said, you know, Christian, since I had that, that one 45 minute procedure, I've never looked back. I've never had a single cardio problem. I've worked 40 hour weeks and sometimes over that. He said, I'm a very great player. So that was the first patient. So now I think I better write a book about this. There's people that need this information. So I started writing Miracle Stem Cell Heart Repair. And I interviewed all the patients. I worked, here's what the cooperation I got. I got the director of cardiovascular stem cell therapy for Johns Hopkins. I have Dr. Warren Sherman from Columbia. We've become friends with all these people. He knew I was shooting a TV pilot on stem cells. He flew out here from New York just to be interviewed. So Dr. Sherman, Dr. Nabil Deeb, who's been on the show with me, he's a world leader, pioneer in this. He's, at, he's the director now of the University of California, San Diego, stem cell therapy, and Gilbert, Arizona, if any of you are, are from Arizona. And anyway, uh, lo, here we get people calling in when I'm on the radio show. You might have heard this before, I don't know. But one gentleman called in and said, uh, asked if I could help him, so Tom took the call. I called him afterward, I sent him a book. He said, you know, my doctor said, uh, I'm not gonna live through the summer. And I know you're trying to get me in a trial. I don't think we're gonna make it. So I'm gonna take the second option you talked about in the book. I'm gonna go to Bangkok. I'm gonna have my cell, stem cell put in. Cost him, I think, $45,000 cost of going home. And uh, he came on the show and said, he said, I couldn't walk to my foyer. I couldn't walk to the front door without total fatigue. And then he says, now I'm running up and down the stairs. I'm doing this. People can't believe it. And I'm telling him that I have my stem cells put in my heart and repaired my heart. Somebody named Billy Armors called into the show. Tom took the call. I got off the air. You think you can help him? I said, I don't know, but I'll tell you what, Tom. Let me talk to him. And I called him and I said, Billy, if it's possible, I will stay with you on this. I will try to get you in a trial. I won't just say it. I'll stay with you. And it took two years. Finally, I convinced Dr. Amit Patel, another world leader. He's the director of the University of Utah, cardio cardiovascular stem cell and regenerative medicine. He's also the scientist you just heard who has a bi biological band-aid for uh, burn victims. Two syringes, one has thrombin and calcium in it, and the other has the stem cells of the patient. They spray it on the patient, that's it. Stem cells go to work. That's why I was talking about repair cells. That's what adult cells do. They repair your body. Um, on the lungs, to rebuild the lungs? Are yes. you familiar with that? They're, they're building lungs right now. They're, mild, they're small mouse lungs, but they're on a breathing respiratory, and they're working. On a, are you familiar with a condition called intrapul intra intrapulmonary shunt? It's where the, yes, I am. Um, of course, Western medicine said there was nothing we can do for her. How old is it? My sister is uh, 42. 42. She's a dialysis patient oh, and has God. no thyroid. They radiated it. This is all before we knew this stuff now. She's how old? 42. Go online to clinicaltrials.gov. Put in the disease and search it. See what trials are being done. They're free. That would be amazing. If you find one, they're free. If we find one. Question. 